What's up guys and welcome back to the channel this week this is going to be another exciting DIY tutorial in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this super snatched bodycon long sleeve turtleneck dress it is officially autumn or fall in the UK so it's getting colder and long sleeve is just the way to go because it's cold okay it's cold out here in these streets but to make this even more exciting I've decided to work with a stretch African print. Now this is one question I get asked a lot via email, via DMs, in comments, where can I source African prints that actually has stretch? And this is that video for you guys because I'm going to be sharing this new material that was sent to me from African Stretch Fabrics, which is the sponsor of this video. Thank you for keeping these lights on, for keeping this channel going because sponsorships is one way that I get to continue to create content, make design, and just share the beautiful world of fashion with you guys on YouTube. Now, African Stretch Fabrics is a website that retails African-inspired four-way stretch fabrics. So you have the print and you have the stretch, and this has been married into one to create a lovely fabric that has stretch and also has the vibrant colors on it as well. Now on the website, they have different styles and different prints that you could shop from. And they also have 10 new prints that you could pre-order right now. I'm going to leave all links down below. If you'd like to get 15% off your order, make sure to use my code KIMDAY15 and you can save some money while you shop at some beautiful fabrics. Now I was sent a fabric to work with for this project. I'm going to unbox this with you guys so you see the colors in real life. You, we do a stretch test to see how stretchy it really is because that's going to guide me when I make the pattern for this dress. Okay? Who's ready? Because I am. And if you are, let's get into this video. Okay, so I have my parcel here <laughs> and the bag says, hello, I'm what you've been waiting for. <laughs> I'm just going to open this quickly. So this is the fabric that I received. It is a black and white, like look at how the colors are popping. I'm just looking at the viewfinder and the colors are literally popping there and in real life as well black and white you can never go wrong with like monotone prints and it has a card in front wrapped nicely in this gold ribbon because why not we are queens so there's a card that says thanks in front and there's a message that says hi Priscilla thanks so much for collaborating with me I love your content and wish you the best Danielle Oh, thank you. That is, that is so sweet. So this is the fabric here. It's a total of three, three meters. So that's more than enough to make the dress. I think I might even have a little bit more to maybe experiment with leggings. If you guys would like to see that, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you'd like me to make a pattern for a pair of leggings, I think I might be able to do that with this fabric. Now, in terms of stretch, that is how stretchy this is. And it feels nice and thick in the sense that, you know when some fabrics stretch, they become transparent or the print loses some color. Like you can see white, white lines going through. This one actually doesn't do that. Like, ooh, this is nice. This is really, really nice. And I think it's going to be really good for the body dress in the sense that once you take away that negative ease in the pattern and then it stretches across your bum, your hips, mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is going to be yummy. This is really, really going to be yummy. It stretches vertically, it stretches horizontally, and it stretches on the bias. So this would be very comfortable to wear on because there's a lot of give. 
There's actually a lot of give in this fabric, so that's amazing. Now that we've unboxed all of the fabrics, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick sketch of the de design I want to make, take down my measurements and get on with the pattern. All right, let's do this. <laughs> So the jumper design is a bodycon fit on the body and then it has a three quarter sleeve, a slit on one side and a total neck detail that I thought would make the dress a lot warmer to wear since we're going into the colder season. So with the sketch down, I was able to decide on the measurements I would need to create my pattern. Now these are the measurements that I worked with. I have them written on the screen and I highly recommend you work with yours so that of your client for the best outcome now once i had the measurement down i know i could go ahead and start creating the patterns and i'm going to be starting with the front of this dress now i have a piece of paper here and the first thing i'm doing is drawing a short horizontal line which is going to become my shoulder line now i'm marking 10 inches below that line and that is my bust line and then i'm going to mark six inches below that 10 inch point and that's my waistline now I'm just going to go in and square those points across so I have my bust line and my waistline ready to be marked with my necessary measurements. Next up, I'm marking the vertical distance from my waist to my hip. Mine is about 10 inches and I'm going to square that across like so, so I have the hip line ready to work with. After that, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to mark half of my across shoulder measurement. Mine is 7 inches. And then for the bust, I'm going to mark a quarter of my bust measurement minus one inch. Now this is going to come into play because the fabric has a lot of stretch. I'm going to repeat the same thing for my waistline, which is a quarter of my waistline minus an inch. And then a quarter of my hip line minus an inch. And when everything is joined together and the fabric stretches across your body, the fit still works. Now I'm just going in here to connect the point along the side so I have my side seam for this front dress plan. Next up, I'm marking one inch above the bust line on the side like so and just lifting it up. And then I'm going to connect that to the shoulder point. But the shoulder point is going to be... I'll say dropped by about half an inch because you want to have a slanted shoulder seam. The shoulder width itself is about 3.5 inches and I'm going to connect that to create our slanted shoulder seam. Now once we're done planning the shoulder and the arm curve, I'm going to mark 3 inches below the shoulder line and this is going to help me create the front neckline. Now the neckline is slightly on the higher side because of the concept of the torso neck which we'll be adding later on now the dress length i worked with is 50 inches because i wanted it on the longer side you can work with whichever length that you work with, that you want or you desire now i'm just going in here to square that point across like so and i'm going to be marking 8.5 inches hem width and connecting that to the hip point of the dress now with that the front plan is done this is what it looks like it should look relatively smaller than your typical bodice or dress pattern because the pattern is sort of shrunken since we're using a stretch fabric now for the back dress design i'm essentially just going to trace off everything except the neckline and the arm curve those are like the two main differences for the back of this dress now for the back neckline, it is 1.5 inches below the shoulder point, so it's not as deep as the front. And the other difference is that the arm curve for the back is shallower than the front. So I'm just going in here to draw in that back arm curve like so. And once I have that in place, I'm going to trace off the side seam, the hem, transfer all of the bust waist and hip lines any other information that i know will be useful on the back pattern and then i'm going to mark three to five inches below the hip line because i want to know where my slit is going to start on the side now i'm going to transfer this to my front so i just have that point in place and i can easily create a notch there on my fabric when i've cut this now I went ahead to add seam allowance around my front and back patterns. Both patterns will be cut on a fold because I don't want a seam on the front or on the back of the dress. 
For the sleeve, I've cut a piece of paper and folded it in half, and this is going to help me trace off the front and back arm curve. Now, starting with the front, I am going to ensure that the distance from that bottom edge of the sleeve to the folded side of the paper is half of my bicep measurement and then the top is roughly two to three inches this is going to give you enough room when you create the pattern for it to actually fit around your arm now after tracing off the front arm curve i'm going to create a notch on the front sleeve and the front arm curve that would help me when i'm stitching everything together then i'm going to open up the pattern and trace off the back arm curve so the same way i did it with the front ensure the distance from that sleeve edge or the folded edge of the paper to the edge of the back arm curve is the same as the front and the same on the top of the sleeve or the shoulder point is the same as the front as well so everything is symmetrical now i'm just going to try to trace off the back arm curve and transfer the darts which i'm going to create using a tracing wheel here because the darts on the back are usually two so i'm going to create two darts for the back sleeve and put that on the back dress as well now i'm just going in here to connect the dash lines and for the top of the sleeve i'm going to measure the curve that goes up and ensure that the curve i'm drawing now is the same length so i'm going to do this for this side and the other side of the sleeve now i found the sleeve head to be on the higher side and it created a little point on the dress when i made it later on this is the point that you would correct that if you don't want to have that that detail that i ended up having on my dress now my sleeve is 20 inches total in length and I'm just drawing in the hemline like so. I'm marking the sleeve width at the bottom which is 7.5 inches. Then I'm just going in here to draw in the side seams of my sleeve like so. Once we have that in place, I'm going to go in and add a 1cm seam allowance all the way around my sleeve and add a 2cm hem allowance on the bottom. Now, when you do the bottom of the sleeve, you have to taper the edges out because when you fold it back up, it will help that seam to meet a lot easier. Now, after doing that, I went ahead to cut out my sleeve pattern, the front and the back of the dress, which you can see here. And the last piece of pattern that I created is for the collar, which will help make that total neck detail. Now, the collar width itself is 8 inches, but the length is a combination of the front and the back neckline minus 1 to 2 inches. Now, because the fabric is stretched, we're hoping that it would be easy to stitch into the dress. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the dress onto the fabric using the pattern. So, I have everything ready to be stitched in place and bring this dress design to life in this gorgeous stretch african print fabric quick update i am done cutting the parts of the dress i have the front and back piece i have the collar piece here as well as the sleeve thankfully because this print is very nice and vibrant i almost don't need to do a lot of designing the focus is just on the print and the fit of the dress on the body so I'm just going to go ahead and join all the panels together I'm excited for this because it's perfect for the season it's actually really cold already so this with some leggings and a jacket and we're set we're ready all right let's finish this dress <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do in terms of sewing the dress all together is put the right sides together of the front and the back and then we're going to be joining the shoulder seams. Now I'm going to only join the shoulder seams at this point because I want to fit the sleeves in before joining the side seam. Now after stitching the shoulder seam on my domestic sewing machine, I went ahead to overlock that seam to just tidy it up nice and neatly on the inside. Now that I have both shoulder seams stitched in place, I am going to pin the sleeve into the arm curve. Thanks to notched points, this you just need to pin along those points and then stitch from one edge all the way to the other. And we need to repeat the same thing for the other side. Now this is one of the advantages of using stretch fabrics. It's very forgiving and you can easily pull points together to ease them in place. 
So after doing the normal stitch all the way around to join the sleeve to the dress, I went ahead to overlock that seam before repeating the same thing on the other side of the dress. Now this is what the piece is looking like so far. I'm going to sew the sides from the sleeve all the way down to the side and then leave one side open which is where our slit is going to be. Mine ended up being on the right side. You can have yours on the left or on both sides if you want. After stitching up the sides, I went ahead to overlock as well so we have it nice and tidy and on this side, I stopped the stitch on the point where we put that notch in the pattern. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to fold that particular edge of the slit outwards or finish it and hem it nicely. So it's a clean edge on that side of the dress. Now I'm just going in here to stitch this edge of the slit like so and when I reach the point where the seam or, the, or that side stitch stopped I'm going to turn the needle across like this stitch out stitch down and then stitch downwards on the other side so we have a continuous stitch finishing up this the edges of the slit like so once I was done doing this, I pressed all of my seams to relax the stitching and then I went in to hem the bottom of the dress as well in the same way that I just did this. So I just folded it and stitched it all the way around and then I gave it a nice press and this is what it's looking like. This is a very like easy way to create slits on dresses and skirts. Now moving on to the color piece, I'm going to join it up the center back first press it open and then fold it in half before we fit it into the neckline of the dress. Next up, I'm going to take the folded collar piece and I'm going to pin that into the neckline of the dress, center back to center back, shoulder point to shoulder point, and center front to center front. And once I have that stretched across and pinned in place, I'm going to sew the collar to the neckline of the dress. Now, co the collar is a little bit smaller than the neckline, so that means you have to ease points into each other. And this can be a little bit challenging, but I promise you it is possible. After doing this, I'm just going in here to overlock that neckline seam like so. And once I was done doing that, the last thing I'll be doing is to fold and sew the hemline of the sleeve. And I'm doing this using a zigzag stitch on both sleeves of the dress. So this is the dress all done. I have put it on and ooh, the fit. The fit is just immaculate. Like, I don't know if it's the prints, the fabric, everything just works. Now, I have the slit on my right hand side. You could have it on your left or even on both sides if you wanted, but I just think it's such a nice, like, sexy detail to have on the side of the dress. I will most likely wear this with tights right now, and then when it gets warmer next year, I would wear it with like a pair of sandals or a pair of flats or even heels because the thing I noticed with this dress is it actually turned out a little bit elegant even though in my head it was meant to be casual but my dear is fashion there's no right or wrong way to style this so this is the dress all done I am in love with the outcome what would I do differently um not a lot if I'm being very honest I think I would most likely have taken a little bit more ease away from the waist. The waist is a little bit roomy, which I don't mind because that way I know I can wear this dress out, eat and not have such an obvious food belly because it's a little bit of room there. But aside taking away the excess from the waist, everything else turned out perfect perfect on this dress and i hope you guys love it as much as i do now if you're recreating this make sure to tag me on instagram at kim dave designs huge thanks to the african stretch fabric team daniel Pears. thank you so much for sending this fabric to me I, I think i'll be coming back to that website to shop for myself because it's so soft so forgiving on the body and i mean you be the judge you be the judge <laughs> it turned out really really nice and i'm very pleased with the outcome i'm going to leave all links to african stretch fabrics websites your socials as well in the description box down below so make sure to check them out and show them some love now if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up 
share this to anyone that you think will find it useful or inspiring to watch and until my next video have a good morning afternoon or evening wherever you are bye Thank you.